So I'm going to take some points, uh, a line that goes through two points. I'm going to write some equations for it and then get it into general form. And we're going to look for a way to um, go straight from, if I know the intercepts, to a general form. But we're going to build it up a little bit. So first off, I'm going to write equations for these. First thing I'm going to need is, uh, is the slope. So let's see, 0 to 4, that's an increase of 4. That's my change in y. Change in x, 3 to 0, that goes down 3. So my slope here is negative 4 thirds. Okay. So, uh, oh, hey, look, that's my y-intercept. Right? So I can write this as y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 4. There it is in slope-intercept form. I'm going to get to standard form. So I want x and y on the same side, on general form, sorry. I want x and y on the same side, and then um, I don't want any fractions. So I'm going to add 4 thirds to both sides, 4 thirds x. And then uh, to get rid of that 3, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, so I don't have any fractions. And notice I end up with 3 divided by 3 is 1, so 4x, 3 times y is 3y, equals 12. Boom. So I use these points, and I got to there. Okay, let me do that again here. Uh, let's find that slope. 0 to 3, that's an increase of 3. Negative 1 to 0, that's an increase of 1. So my slope is 3 over 1, which is 3. Okay, good stuff. So, and here's my y-intercept right here. So y equals 3x plus 3. Let's see, I can uh, subtract 3x from both sides. And I end up with negative 3x plus y equals 3. All right, let's do this one. My slope up 4, up 2. So my slope is 4 over 2, which is 2. And that's my y-intercept. So I've got y equals 2x plus 4. I can subtract 2 from both sides. Negative 2x plus y equals 4. Okay, interesting. Now let's go back and take a, take a peek at these and see what's going on. So notice that in this first one, 3, 0, 0, 4, I've got these numbers showing up. Like the 3, there's a 3 here. There's a 4 here. Right? So like that 3 is there. There's a 4 there and a 4 there. And notice this 12 is 3 times 4. And this makes a lot of sense to me because, like, think about that, that cover-up method or that intercept method. When x is 0, this is a 0, right? So 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times y, 3 times 4 is 12. Yeah. And going the, the other way as well, when y is 0, that 3 times 0 is 0. Plug in the 3 for x, 4 times 3 is 12. So notice that in this case, this thing that was a y... I could write it with the x, so 4 times x plus this thing that was an x, I could write it with the y, 3 times y equals 4. Those two things multiplied together. That's so interesting. Let's see, does that happen here? Well, let me see. Let me just do the same kind of pattern and see, see what I got. So this 3 is a y, so I could go 3 times x. This is an x, so I could go minus y equals 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. They don't look identical, but look what I could do. I could multiply both sides by negative 1. You don't have to, but I just want to do that to show that these are the same thing. So there are multiple ways to write these equations. These are equivalent to each other. So I could have written this one with that swap and multiply form that, I'm, that I just did. Let's check it with this one. The 4 is the y, so let's put it with the x, 4x minus, two is with the x, so let's put it with the y, equals 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. See how I could get from there to there? Right? Divide these by negative 2 and you get that same equation. So if we have intercepts, 
like that. We can write a general form, and it's okay if you write it this way or if you write it that way. They're, they're equivalent. They're both good answers. But in general, if I have, um, let's say, B0 and A0, oh, 0A, sorry, and those are zeros, not O's, I could, this is a Y value, so I could go A times my X plus B times my Y equals A times B. And that will always work. And notice that's general form, right? AX, squared, AX plus BY equals C, where C is A times B.